Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I have a great message from Spirit. But first of all, I want to thank you so much for your support. And, you know, really just for getting the message out there, because it's really important that others get these messages, especially through the holidays, because it kind of lifts our spirits when we know that our loved ones are around. And let me tell you, I'm lucky for that. A lot of people say that I'm lucky. Um, sometimes it's difficult for me to be able to fill these people, because sometimes I don't, um, you know, get the the feeling that some people are able to sense their loved ones around or they feel like they've just sort of like been plucked off the face of the earth and and it's so difficult so if I could bring a smile to someone's face or if I can enlighten you with some messages from the other side I'm more than happy to do it I'm trying to do them about once a week now so if you send them out and you keep on sharing the way you do I absolutely am going to continue now I want to let you know that I have four people that come through and I don't know if they're related to each other but the first two that come through are two males Definitely a connection to February, I believe the 18th or the 19th. But they make me feel that's important. And they also talk about the 21st, but I believe it's of August or September, but I'm not quite sure around those dates. They make me feel that there's a connection to the eastern part of Canada that belongs to this family group. So the two males, in other words, are telling me that they're connected to someone east of here, or there's a connection to eastern Canada going towards North Bay because I'm in Sudbury, Ontario, but I'm going towards North Bay, going towards Ottawa, um, you know, Eastern Canada. If it's in the U.S., which I highly doubt, but if it is, it's the Eastern coast of the U.S. and they would make me feel anywhere from New York all the way down to um, to Florida. So there's definitely a, a strong East connection to this. The one male makes me feel that there was damage to his face. I do believe this was accidental unless you know, unless when this male passes away, he fell or, you know, damaged himself by falling from a sudden death. But I have to tell you, I do feel that this is accidental because they do make me feel that the casket was closed because there was too much damage to the facial area. But they make me feel that this is okay, you know, that that really, you know, it, it didn't affect them after passing, that they were happy to go through the light. They were really excited to be able to see, you know, a couple of their relatives or loved ones that they had missed over the years. But, you know, I have to tell you that they're very, very thankful also for, for everything that was done for the service, and the, the collages of photos, uh, you know, everything that was done. There's, there's a great... Um, you know appreciation from that from this male now I do feel one of the males has a P connection to him like a Paul Patrick Peter Pete you know even even a very strong nickname with a P um, he makes me feel that he brings through and I believe these two are connected these two males someone that had problems with the kidneys or someone that had complications around kidneys and I don't think it's just like a kidney failure they would make me think maybe dialysis you know as a result of diabetes or yeah, I don't know but there's something wrong with the kidneys and they make me feel that there was issues before passing but these two are together the second one talks about November and I believe it's either the first or the second or the 10th or the 20th because I don't see zero so I'll add those on to the one and the two but they make me feel that they come through and that one makes me feel that there's been guilt around the passing because I feel that this person was disconnected or treatment had to stop maybe three four days before they passed and that you know their loved ones that are left behind are watching them suffer as as they go through or as you know their life is ending so I would say for about three to four days this male makes me feel that he's bedridden and that you know his family's around him he talks about three very clearly that come around or that were important to him at the time he passed but he does make me feel that he was let go or disconnected somehow so either you know life support um, you know oxygen had stopped perhaps or uh, maybe medication or treatment of some kind had stopped or feeding had stopped but they're very thankful for that and the guilt left here is about disconnecting that person and I feel bad for that because really when we pull that plug we think that we've ended that person's life and we have such a human aspect Aspect to us that we feel that we've done something wrong well on the other side they don't feel that way you see when you've disconnected them you love them enough to let them go and you freed them from their pain and their suffering and they need to go home they need that permission to be able to cross through so this great big thank you despite the guilt feeling and having to watch this person suffer here 
that you didn't let them go. So thank you so much for that. And, and they love you so much for that. Now, I also have two females that come through. They're together. Only one speaks to me. She makes me feel her name is, and I hope I get this right, but there's an R connection to that. I think it's Roly or Roland, or it could be something like Robert, Roberta, like Robert, Roberta, Robert, but a female. Uh, Rita, Rose, but I almost think it's Roly, like Roland, you know, R Roly as a female. She talks about um, Guylaine or uh, Glenda or uh, Gloria or like a G name, Gertrude, Gertrude, something like that, that's left here could be Geten, um, someone that's left behind here. And she comes to see her quite often. This female makes me feel that she had cancer. Um, they diagnosed her a little bit too late, Not dis notwithstanding that she did have success with one of the treatments, um, you know, and she makes me feel that, you know, despite finding out late that she managed to live a good six, eight months past the date they had given her or the life expectancy that they had given her. Now she makes me feel that there's a Dr. K or like a, a K sounding name like a Chris or a Christine or a Kayla or it could even be a last name like Dr. Cooper or Dr. Kling, I don't know, but they make me feel there's a big thank you to a Dr. K and I feel that very strongly. Now, um, this woman, I, I think it's Rolaun, she makes me feel that her daughter has been a little bit down because of the financial stress. And with Christmas there, and you know, there's been some passings in the last few years, things have been really hard. And she makes me feel that she comes around this female quite often. I don't know if the female was making cookies last night or talking about making these cookies, but I think they're a molasses cookie or like a dark ginger cookie of some kind because they look rather dark and I think it's mom's recipe. So I don't know if it's not last night, it could have been the night before last, but they make me feel someone's talking about recipes. It could be over the telephone, it could be, you know, with a friend or something or even on the internet, but I got to tell you, cookies is what I'm seeing and, and I'm seeing a lot of really beautiful cookies so there's got to be talk about that but I'm going to tell you it's not chocolate chip it's not fruit cookies it's 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 not peanut butter they're dark and they look like molasses or, or very dark ginger snap type of cookies they, they look good <laughs> you know um, with her daughter being so down about all of this you know um, financial distress she makes me feel that there's a little bit of good luck around the corner I don't know if someone brings them, you know, a gift of, of gift certificates where they could buy extra food for Christmas or if there's like, you know, something that they could re-gift that they feel good about, but they say not to feel so guilty about not having anything right now. Really, good things will come back to them. What's important is the love in that family and that they're happy and that they try to help each other out. And so there's a very, very strong hello from Roland, beautiful woman, a little bit heavier set. Um, she lost quite a bit of weight, you know, with her disease, but she makes me feel that she looks really good now. And she just, um, she's very, very happy and just gives a message out to a G name. So again, Gloria, Glenda, uh, Gaetan, um, Gertrude, like there's a G feel to it. It's a great big hello. I hope that you understand your messages here today. Like I said, this, this could definitely be meant for more than one person, you know, so sometimes I'll get four or five emails asking me if that was for you. You know, just look at it with an open mind. Sometimes I don't always get the right dates. It could be a day or two off or I'm not getting the exact pronunciation of the name, but there's a lot of love that comes through. And I got to tell you, I'm so, so happy to be able to pass that over to you. Thank you so much again for sharing all of these messages. There were well over 100 shares last time, and I appreciate your time that you take to look at these videos and also to share them out. You know, I've been so busy lately uh, with a lot of projects. I'm going to be making an announcement very shortly as to some changes with, you know, with my business and different things. But I have to tell you, without you, not, none of this would happen for me. So thank you. It, it really, I'm so appreciative of you. You have no clue. Thanks a lot. Have a beautiful day. God bless.